<clears throat> okay, so I, uh, um, when I first started going through the process of getting a um, separation, I was like, okay, I'm gonna vlog and show my progress because I thought that would be compelling because somebody else is probably going through this, obviously going through this. And I just wanted to give everyone the, the news, the good news, the bad news, whatever, that um, I signed the divorce papers and I wouldn't say like it was an easy divorce. I wouldn't say it was a hard divorce. It was just like the whole thing was just awful. But when it came down to it, it was like an electric signature, right? It was six different files. I signed my name and it pressed and it's just such a hard realization to know that after everything you worked for in this relationship that it's just like so easy. You just like sign a little thing and press finish. And I thought I would feel like, oh, I don't know, relief or um, like proud of myself. I got through like the hardest thing. But like the whole time as I was like about to sign, I kept thinking like, and I don't know if this is a common thing to think. I'm sure it is. I'd love your opinions. Is Chrissy just going to call me right now and be like, wait, 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 wait. This is a mistake. All oh, this is a mistake. <clears throat> and she didn't. She signed it. Just like I did. And maybe I'm naive. And I still have a lot of therapy to go, but I am still so confused how I got here. Like everyone's like, oh, you know, there were so many signs. Yes, there were, but I didn't think the signs equaled this. So I'm still very confused. And I keep talking to my therapist and I'm like, am I, am I past the point where I'm allowed to be sad? Am I at the point where I'm like, move on? <clears throat> and, um, no, I'm not there. I just don't know what... It's like I walked into a party and I don't know anyone. I don't know where to put my hands. It's kind of how I feel. Like, when I just walk around this world, I feel like I'm just like... I feel like an imposter. Like, if I walk around confident or having a good day, I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do with myself. That being said, I some wonderful things that I've done. My friends keep reminding me like, you have gone through the biggest painful thing in your life and you still made an album. You did that. So I can say I did that. And um, exciting news. My album comes out January 18th. And if you all know my story um, you will know that Chrissy proposed to me on January 18th, 2018. And some of you might say this, that's pretty, um, fucked up to put your album out on the same day that your now ex proposed to you. But this album is my therapy. It's about my relationship. It's about my healing. It's about what I went through. And my album is called Unconditional. And I feel like my love is unconditional. I feel like this pain is wrapped up in this project and I'm putting it out to like, like an exclamation mark. Like it's like, there we go. That's my art. That's the end. Obviously the pain doesn't end. Obviously the art won't end. But for me, it feels like a poetic bow um, to release it on that day. And I hope you all will see that as well. I put so much of my heart into this album, so much of my pain, so much of my passion, and I'm really, I'm really proud of it. <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the update with me. I wish I could be like, yeah, everything's great. I'm so good. Life is great. I figured it out and maybe I will. Maybe next year, 
I will be in that place, which is ironic because that's the name of my first single if next year was today. Maybe next year I will be so proud of myself and love who I am and love the decisions I made and love the partner that I was and the partner that I am. There are so many wonderful things in my life and sometimes it's hard to focus on those things when you feel so sad. But I'm in the best shape of my life. I work out five to six days a week. It's the thing that keeps me from not doing anything dumb. And I'm really proud of myself. I said last year before I went through all this that I was gonna get in the best shape of my life and I did. I have a lot of love in my life. We're all just figuring it out, aren't we? We're all doing our best with whatever we have in front of us, right? We're all trying our best and I'm trying my best. I'm just like, I'm grateful for the people that have stayed and my friends and my family. You know, I still have these wonderful moments from time to time where you all come up to me like, oh, like on New Year's, somebody came up to me and was like, I recognize you. And then she put it together and she was like, oh my God, your coming out song that you wrote was the song that I used to come out to both my parents when I was 14. Man, what I would do, what I would do to be back in a place where I was helping people the way I used to be helping people. Cause that, that was what fills this emptiness. I know it would fill what is empty now. I wasn't em as empty then. So like, what do I gotta do? Like, how do I, how do I reach people to help them again? I, I hope these videos help. I hope that people can relate to what I'm going through and they feel what I'm going through. And they're like, I'm not alone. They can also help me along. You can give me tips what you do. Because I need help too. <sighs> Anyways, I just... I hope this candid videos mean something. Um, and again, I'm just very grateful. Grateful for the for, for you, for watching, for supporting, for leaving a comment of, of either encouragement or, or tips or something helpful. This that is that's desperately what I need right now. Um, and I hope that I can continue to do something for you and be part of your life. And um, I can't wait, because January 18th, my album comes out. I'm gonna start releasing really cool videos. That'll make me happy and I'll be proud of myself during those moments. Anyways, okay, well, that's it, I guess. I love you all. Thank you for loving, being loving, and I'll see you sometime soon. Big kiss. Oh, y'all want me to come up with a different end, end thing, like instead of big kiss, big hug, big love? Leave what I should say at the end. Um, ooh, love unconditionally. <laughs>